Hey everybody, it's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Free Birders franchise here in the end of the nine. The last episode was the end of the first half of the regular season as we won another game against the Wild Pigs. First time we faced them this year, we won 7-3 behind Malia Ellison, getting her her first win of the season. And today we start the second half of the year against our old nemesis, the Saw Teeth. Uh, last year, if you remember correctly, the Saw Teeth knocked us out in the first round of the playoffs, two games to one, and they went on to lose in the conference finals, thankfully, to the Moose, who would go on to win the championship. Uh, so it is brings me great joy to see the Saw Teeth come in in this matchup with a losing record, and I will continue to do as much as I can to make their suffering continue. Uh, they enter at 3-5, and five, we enter at 7-1, and one, leading our division. They are in, I believe, fourth place in their division. Uh, on the mound for them is Larry LaJoy, their ace, left-hander 1-0 with a 3.86 ERA and a 2.14 whip in two starts. And for us, it is Robert Muddywater, the second-year pitcher, 0-1 with a 4.50 ERA and a 1.14 whip. Lineup for today's game looks like this. Bad Hot Brown will lead off in the DH role, followed by Hester Reliable, the shortstop, who is tense, but he is now juice, which basically means he's locked in. <laughs> uh, then it is first baseman Harsh McFreddy, who is actually locked in. He's batting third. Also locked in is center fielder Nico Jennings. He'll bat fourth. Batting fifth is the fishman Cole Salmon at second base. Batting sixth is the rookie Dash Correa in right field. Batting seventh, backup catcher Parker Freeman. Starting today over Ho, who is tired. He'll bat number seven. Batting eighth is the third baseman Colton Burnett, who is tense. And batting ninth in left field is third year outfielder Nettle Fiducci, getting her second start over the tenth Martin Polby. Let's get it on. This is our fourth home game in a row. Uh, stretch of five here at home in the middle of the season. Looking to start the second half of the season off in the right direction. Seems the Saw Teeth have sold out for contact and offense, basically, and defense. Uh, they have cut everything they had in their starting rotation. Last year, if you remember correctly, Larry LaJoy was their three pitcher. Now he's their ace. Yeah, they sold out hard in the pitching department. All right, Bag Slam and Strauss are going to be up first for the Saw Teeth as we get it on. Here's our original member Johnny Bags in right field leading off, hitting 323, two homers and six RBIs. Low pitch act for him. Here's a look at Muddy Waters' numbers in the season. Robert is 0-1 in two starts with a 450 ERA and a 114 whip. He's given up eight runs, seven of them earned. Thrown 14 innings, an average of seven innings a start. 15 hits given up, two of them homers. One walk and 19 strikeouts recorded. Batting average against 263. Here's the lineup for the Saw Teeth after bags. It is center fielder Jackie Slam, who is on fire. Then it is catcher Harmony Strauss returning again. She is locked in. Batting fourth returning is first baseman Valerie Painter. Batting fifth, new addition D.H. Sturdy Woodman. Uh, batting sixth, right fielder Michaela Compton returning for another year. She is tense. Batting seventh and returning at his natural position of second base this year is Dion Base. Batting eighth at third base, new addition Marvin Handshake. He is tense. And batting ninth at shortstop, it is former freebooter Dig Eforto. Bags of muddy water are ready. Here we go. Fastball to letters is a called strike. 0 1. Slider away. Outside. 1 1. Change bumping in. Liner to second. Salmon charges. Fields it on one hop. We'll fire to first. One down. Next up is the center fielder Jackie Slam, who is on fire currently, hitting 343. Three homers and eight RBIs on the season. First pitch to her is a curveball away from Muddy Water. Outside. Ball one. Fork ball down and in. Low. 2 0. Pass ball up and in. Skied into left center field. She just missed it. Jennings to his right. Calls for it. Makes the catch, two down. Gonna bring up catcher Harmony Strauss, who's locked in, hitting 138. Two homers, five RBIs in the air, and she has outside pitch active. First pitch carries a fork ball at the knees. Line to third, knocked down by Burnett. He'll fire it to first. In time, that ends the inning. One, two, three inning to start the game from Muddy Water. Sends the free bidders to bat. Brown, Reliable, and McFreddy do up against LaJoy. Here's the DH today, Bad Hop Brown. He's leading off for the free bidders, hitting 412. One homer and three RBIs for the OG, as he's the last original member of our roster from day one. Here's a look at LaJoy's numbers on the year. In his two starts, he is 1 0 with a 386 ERA and a 214 whip. He's given up four earned runs in nine and a third innings pitched. Average just over about four and two thirds of an inning. 
Uh, 15 hits surrendered, 5 of walks as well. He has struck out 5 and has a batting average against a 357. Not great numbers, but passable, I guess. Not for an ace, though. Fast but down and it is a strike to get it underway. Change of uh, screwball high, ball one. Screwball down and in, rip foul by Brown. That'll activate Whiffer as there's a 1 2 count. Chase the fast but down and it is, it breaks the bat. Dribbler in the hole between third and oh, the pitcher's mound. The Joy still has enough time to throw Brown out at first. <laughs> Next up, Hester Reliable to shortstop, who is tense and juiced, hitting 182 with a homer, four RBIs. He also has low pitch active here against the lefty, LaJoy. Pass but down and in is inside, ball one. Slider at the knees, Reliable sits on it, drives it to deep center field, but that's going to hang up there for slam as it dies. Two down. That'll bring up Harsh McFreddy, the first baseman, who's locked in, hitting 333. Three homers and six RBIs on the year for Harsh. Homer twice last episode as that fastball's away. Ball one. Curveball middle of the plate line to right center field, and McFreddy's got another hit as it goes in the gap. Slam will cut it off, and that'll hold him to just a single. First hit of the game for either club, and that extends the inning here for center fielder Nico Jennings, who's also locked in. He's hitting 471 with a homer and three RBIs. Fastball up line down the left field line, just foul. Ball, 0 and 1 the count. Curveball down and the way is outside. 1 and 1. Fastball down the middle. Lined in the left center field. Hit pretty well by Jennings. Giving Chase slam. Looking up. It's over the fence. Off the pylon on the second deck. Home run for Nico Jennings. Cannonball coming at you. That's his second of the year. Right out of the deepest part of the park. We have a 2 nothing lead. I'm going to bring up Cole to Fishman Salmon. Second baseman batting fifth today. He's hitting 321. Two homers and five RBIs on the season. Fastball in middle in, chopped on the ground to LaJoy. Easy one pitch out, and that ends the inning. Three bitters, though, get the early lead on the home run by Jennings. To the second, it's 2 nothing. Painter, Woodman, and Compton do up against Muddy Water. Leading off the inning is the first baseman for the soft teeth today, Valerie Painter, hitting 303 with an RBI on the season. There's been slider up and away, is outside, ball one. Change it down and in. Inside, 2 0. Fastball up and in. Check swing strike at the letters, 2 and 1. Curveball down and away is outside, 3 and 1. Pork ball middle away. Lined up the middle, of bike past Muddy Waters left ear, and that's a base hit. Painter is the first hit for the saw teeth here as leadoff woman's on for Sturdy Woodman, the DH. Hitting 300 with three RBIs on the year for the former freebooter. Fastball down and away. Line foul into the salty dugout. 0 and 1. Curveball down and in. Chop foul behind the plate. 0 and 2. Change up and away. Lined into right field. Hit pretty well by Woodman to the wall. Correa leaps off the wall behind him, and that's going to be a base hit. Runner thought about third, but Correa gets it in. It's a single for Woodman. Two on and none down for Compton, the right fielder, hitting 176. One homer and five RBIs on the year. She's currently tense. First pitch slider middle of the plate. Ground at the short. This could be a double play. Five ball to second one. Sam in the first. Double play. Two base runners gone. Runner at third now with two down for Dion base. Second baseman looking for the RBI to drive in. 300 average with an RBI on the season. No homers yet. Fastball up. Grounded hard at the middle. Sam and dives. He can't get there and that will be an RBI for base. He singles in the runner from third. 2-1 the score. The That'll bring up third baseman Marvin Handshake, who is 10, hitting 242. Three RBIs of the year. He takes over duties at third base from Ian Fielder, who leaves in free agency. First pitch curve all the way. Is a strike as the runner goes. Easy stolen base for base as he has good speed. And Freeman has no arms, so he wasn't going to throw him out anyway. Base's uh, first attempt to steal this season. He's 1-for-1. One one. Oh, when the count here to handshake. Work ball down in the way is in the dirt. Ball one. Slider away, outside. Two and one. Pass ball up and away. Chopper to short. Reliable charges. Bare hands and fires. In time to get him at first, and that ends the inning.
Sawtooth though get an RBI single from Dion Bass as they cut the lead in half. It's two to one. Bottom two, Correa, Freeman, and Burnett do up against LaJoy. Here's rookie right fielder Dash Correa leading off the inning in the sixth hole, hitting 429 with one homer and two RBIs on the year. LaJoy still tense after the first inning shenanigans as that slider's inside. Ball one. Slider middle of the plate. Correa is late on the swing, and that's going to be fouled off, although that did have the didn't run. Slider, ooh, caught the corner inside. One and two. That activates Whiffer for Correa. Pass with that, and then it's chopped the short. That Fordo charges and fires. One down. Joy back to Neutra Mojo. Now to bring up backup catcher Parker Freeman batting in the seven hole today for the free bidders. Hitting 500 on the air with an RBI. Change of up and in is a called strike, or screwball, sorry, 0 and 1. Pass up and in is high, 1 and 1. Screwball at the knees, line to third, right at handshake though, 2 down. Base is empty for Burnett, third baseman is tense currently, hitting 344 with an RBI. Fastball in, swung on on the first pitch and skied the left. Bags incoming charges, makes the catch, and that ends the inning. 1 2 3 for LaJoy to the third. It's still 2 to 1. Eforto, Bags, and Slam do up here for the Saw Teeth. Leading off the inning is former freebooter, shortstop Dig Eforto. He's hitting 250 on the year with two RBIs on the season. I believe it's Dig's fifth year here with the Saw Teeth. Work ball away is a ball outside, 1 0. Pass but down and in, line in the left center. That's in the gap, and that's going to be extra bases for Dig. Throw in from Jennings will hold him to a single, actually, as he does not test it. How to bring up Johnny Bags, who's over one today. First gets fastball up and away is called strike, going one. Slider up and in is high, one on one. Change up and in, way out in front of it is Bags, one and two the count. Well down in the way, chopped foul, out of play, still one and two. Work ball down and in, inside, two and two. Pass ball up and away, line foul as Bags is late on it, but he stays alive. 2-2 two -two pitch coming. Slider up and in, swung through it, strike three, first punch out for Muddy Water, one down. That's going to bring up center fielder Jackie Slam, 0 for 1 with the fly out today. The ball middle away is a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Last but down in the way, swung through it late, 0 and 2. Tap out activates for Slam. Change it down and in, below the knees, lined at the middle. Salmon dives and cuts it off, he'll flip the second one. Lava to first, late, it's a fielder's choice. Two down runner at first, or catcher Harmony Strauss, who's locked in still. 0 for 1 today. Grounded out to third base her first time up as it was a hard liner that was knocked down by Burnett, but he recovered in time to throw Strauss out at first base. Big off first, nothing doing. Fork ball down and in is low, ball one. Pass ball down and in is called strike as the runner goes. Freeman's throw down is late. Stolen base for slam. For Jackie, that is her second attempt to steal this year. She's two for two. One one count here to Strauss. Let her down and in. Chop foul. One and two the count now. Change up and in. Line to right field, right to Correa. He makes the catch and that ends the inning. Another zero on the board for the Salty. Bottom three. Fiducci, Brown, and Reliable do it for the Freebooters. Pardon me. Leading off the inning is left fielder Nettle Fiducci. Uh, hitting two for five on the year at a 400 clip. Uh, getting her second start of the year here for Martin Polding, who is tense. Lefty lefty matchup starts with the fastball high from LaJoy. Ball one. Slider middle in, grounded hard to second, right at base. That's one down. Now to bring up Brad Hop Brown, the DH, over one today. Grounded out his first time up. So he takes a screwball at the knees, 0 and 1. Curveball is outside, 1 and 1. Curveball middle away is a strike, 1 and 2 as Whiffer activates again for Brown. Fastball middle away, line to left field, right in front of the slot. Bags, and that'll be a base hit. 
Brown's first hit today. He's one for two, and that'll bring up Reliable. Over for one today with a fly out to center field. Low pitch still active for him as he takes fastball high, 0 and 1. Fastball away, misses, 1 and 1. Fastball at the knees, a sky to center field. He got under it again. Slam in now. Makes the catch, and that's two down. That's going to bring up first baseman Harsh McFreddy. He singled his first time up to right center, and he scored on the home run ball by Jennings in the first inning. Fastball up and in, misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Curveball hangs, McFreddy sits on it, drives it dead center field, looking to get over the batter's eye out there. Cannonball is off the top of the wall. That stays in play. That's going to be an extra base hit for McFreddy as he's going for third. He's in with a triple. It's an RBI as well as it's 3-1 free bidders. That keeps the inning alive for Jennings, who homered his first time up, looking to do it again. Or just driving the runner from third, honestly. Curveball outside from LaJoy misses. Ball one. Fastball high as Chase popped up to third. Easy catch for handshake, and that ends the inning. Still an RBI triple by McFreddy with two down. Gives us our two-run advantage back. 3-1 the score to the fourth. Painter, Woodman, and Compton do up against Muddy Water. Here's Painter, one for one with the single. She then scored a run in the second inning. First pitch change up at the knees. Just low, ball one. Slider up and in. Misses inside, 2-0. Oh. For a ball away, in the dirt, 3-0. and oh. Fastball middle in, is lined to first. McFreddy there for it, one down. That's going to bring up Woodman, who singled his first time up and then was erased on a double play ball. Just change up at the knees. Foul off, 0 and 1. Fastball up and away. Sky down the left field line. Fiducci going over. In foul territory to make the catch, 2 down. That's going to bring up Compton, 0 for 1. Grounded into a double player first time up. First slider down in the way. Is it called strike at the knees, 0 and 1? Curveball down and in. Swung through it, 0 and 2. Pass popping away. High, 1 and 2. Good eye there. Work ball down and away. Chase it in the dirt, strike 3. Freeman picks it up off the ground and fires the first. In time, it's another 1 2 3 inning for Muddy Water as he gets through the fourth with his second punch out to close it out. Bottom half of the fourth we go. It's still 3 to 1 freebooters. Salmon, Correa, and Freeman do up against LaJoy. Here's the fish man. Cole Salmon's 0 for 1 today. Slider outside, ball one. Salmon popped out his first time up. Screw ball up and in as a strike, one and one. Slider inside, two and one. Fastball middle in, grounded hard to second. It's right at base though, he'll make the play, one down. That'll bring up Dash Correa, right fielder 0 for one. Slider away, it's fouled off, 0 and one. Nice pitch from LaJoy to catch the corner. Fastball foul back, 0-2 as that activates Whiffer again. Fastball down, foul off, 0-2 still. Slider middle of the plate, lined up the middle, and Correa has a base hit. He's 1-2 for two as he snuck that past the dive into fourth, though. Steeler active for the rookie at first, and that'll bring up Freeman, 0-1 today. Fastball away, misses ball one. The only reason we're not running, catcher is Harmony Strauss, who has a cannon behind the plate. And she's locked in. Screw ball at the knees for a strike, 1-1. One one. Screw ball down and in, grounded up the third baseline, diving his handshake to cut it off. No play at second, he'll throw to first on the fielder's choice. Two down. Got to bring up Burnett with the runner in scoring position. Burnett flew out the left his first time up. Fastball's high, ball one. Fastball down the middle, Burnett jumps on it, drives it deep right center field. He got a good crack at it. Cannonball coming at you in the first row. First homer of the year for Colton Burnett as he extends the lead here. It is now 5-1. to one. That's a two-run shot. Second two-run homer of the game for us. That'll bring up Fiducci, who's 0-for-1, as LaJoy is now tense once more. Curveball up and in is a strike going one. Fiducci lined out the third base her first time up. Fast down to the waist, chopped past the mound to second. Painter there, flips it to LaJoy. Late, it's an infield single as Fiducci beats it out with the good hustle. She'll extend the inning for Brown, who's one for two with a single today. 
Slider down and away is low. Ball one. Slider up and away. Brown goes with the pitch, drives it into right center field, hits it pretty well. Running it down is Compton on the warning track as she prevents extra bases. Still another two-run homer for the Freebooters as Colton Burnett extends the lead. It's 5-1 to one on his first homer of the season. To the fifth we go. It's a four-run lead. Base. Handshake and a fourth, though, due up. There's Dion Base, one for one with an RBI single his first time up. He's also stolen a base. Muddy Water locked in after the 1-2-3 fourth inning. First pitch curveball turned on and ripped foul by Base as he's just early on it. Fastball up and away, swung through it late, 0-2. Slider down and away, chasing in the dirt, strike three. Third punch out for Robert, one down. That's going to bring up Marvin Handshake, third baseman's over one today. Still tense currently. First pitch fork ball down and away is a strike, going one. Change up and away, popped up, shallow right center, salmon out for it in the grass. Makes the catch, two down. That's going to bring up a fourth though, one for one with the single his first time up. Fastball up and in, it's fouled back, going one. Curveball down and in, fouled off again, 0 and 2. Tough hat activates for a fourth though here. Fourth ball down and away is low in the dirt, 1 and 2. Slider up and away, outside and fouled off, still 1 and 2. Change it down and in, chase low, grounded back to the mound as Muddy Water snaps it, fires the first, and that is going to be a 1 2 3 inning for Robert. Bottom five, it's still five to one. Reliable McFreddy and Jennings do up against LaJoy. Here's Reliable, 0 for two with two flyouts today to center field. Looking to turn his fortunes around at the plate. Curveball's inside, ball one. Fastball up the letters, check swing strike, one on one. Fastball up and he's lined to right center field. Looking to get over Slam's glove, it won't as she makes the catch at the warning track. One down. Next up, McFreddy tripled in a run last time up. He's also singled. He's two for two today. Fastball up, lined into right field, but it's going to go right to Compton for the second out. Two down, nobody on for Jennings. Two run homers first time up, and then he uh, flew out last time up. Fastball inside, misses, ball one. Curveball below the knees, dribbled up the middle, and that's a base hit for Nico. He's two for three. That two out single will extend the inning here. For the fish man, Colville Salmon, who's over two. He's flown out and grounded out. Fastball away, misses ball one. Fastball up is fouled off, out of play on the left side, one of one. Slider middle in, turned on by Salmon. He crushed it right center field. Cannonball coming at you. Third two-run home of the game for the free bidders and the third of the year for Cole, the fish man, Salmon. He extends the lead. It is now 7-1 to one as we break it open in the fifth. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Let's go. Here's Correa, one for two with a single his last time up. Fastball high from the joy, ball one. Curveball at the knees. Correa crushes it dead center field, hitting it to the deepest part of the park. It will be caught at the wall, though, by Slam, and that ends the inning. Still another two-run homer, and this one's off the bat of Cole, the Fishman Sam in his third of the year. Free bidders extend the lead to six. Seven won the score to the six. The top of the lineup's up for the Salty for the third time today. Bags, Slam, and Strauss. Here's Johnny Bags. He's over two today. We're going to turn his fortunes around at the plate as he still has yet to reach base. First with slider up and in is high, 1-0. Oh. Pass up and away. Chased it, 1-1. One one. Well, down in the way. Low, two and one. Curve up and in. High, three and one. Change up middle in. Call the strike. Full count. Pass ball up and away. Bag skies it into left field. Fiducci in. Calls for it after two steps. Makes the catch. One down. Next up is Slam. Over two today. She's flown out and hit into a fielder's choice last time up. She reached base and then managed to steal second. First pitch fork ball down and in. Inside on the check swing, 1-0. Oh. Change it down the way is outside and low, 2-0. Oh. Light it down and in. Check swing inside, 3-0. Oh. 
Fastball middle away is a strike. Three and one. Curveball down and away. Fouled off. Full count. Now that activates for slam. Fastball up and in. Driven deep left center field. Slam got a good ride on it. Jennings back to the fence. Leaps out of his reach into the salty bullpen as he was just off a little bit to the right. Second homer, fourth homer of the year for Jackie Slam as she keeps her hot hitting going. It is now 7-2. to two. First home run given up by Muddy Water today, and that'll bring up Strauss, so two today. Muddy Water no longer locked in after the bomb by Slam. That fork ball is wild as it's high, 1-0. Fastball middle in is fouled off into the salty dugout, 1-1. Slider down, ripped up the middle on the ground, base hit for Strauss. She's one for three as that's back-to-back -back hits for the Sawteeth here. That's going to bring a Painter one for two with a single. Fastball down and in, fouled off as she's early on it, 0-1. Change of middle of the way, lined in the center field, Jennings retreating a few steps. Makes the catch for the second out. Painter retired. That's going to bring up Sturdy Woodman, the DH. He's one for two today with the single, his last first time up. First pitch fork ball down in the way. Grounded hard up the middle. Salmon dives to his right to make the stop. Fires the first in time, and that ends the inning. Saw Tito get their second run on the board on the home run by Slam. It is now five run deficit. 7-2 to the bottom of the sixth. Freeman, Burnett, and Fiducci, bottom of the lineup up. Leading off the inning is Parker Freeman. He's 0 for 2 today. Flown out and grounded out. Fastball up is called strike the letters. 0 and 1. Fastball up. Sky to right center field. That is in the gap and a tough play. Slam runs it down with the speed though. 1 down. Freeman now 0 for 3 and that'll bring up Burnett. Two run homer last time up as he's back to Nutramojo finally. Fastball down the middle. Lined one hopper to short. A fourth though makes the stop. Two down. And that's going to bring up Fiducci, one for two with an infield single last time up as she beat out a slow roller between first and second. Slider low, ball one. Slider up and in is popped up as Fiducci gets under it. Behind the mound is LaJoy to call for it. He'll make the catch and that gets them through the sixth, one, two, three, to the seventh at seven to two. Compton base and handshake do up against Muddy Water. Here's Compton, 0 for 2 today, still currently tense as she's looking to get on base for the first time today. First pitch fastball down and in is low, ball one. Fork ball down in the dirt, bouncing, 2 and 0. Fork ball down and away, grounded hard at the middle, reliable dives, he cuts it off, gets up and fires. In time, one down, nice play, Hesto. Got to bring up base, 1 for 2 with an RBI single today. First slider down and away is a strike at the knees, 0-1. Change of middle in, inside, good take, 1-1. One one. Last bump and away, outside, 2-1. Double down and in, lined up the middle, Muddy Water reaches out and makes the catch, 2 down. Next up handshake, 0 for 2. Last ball up, grounded hard to second, right at Salmon, he'll make the stop. 1-2-3 inning for Robert as he gets through the 7th cleanly. Bottom 7, it's still a 5-run game. Brown, Reliable, and McFreddy do up. Here's Bad Hop Brown, 1-3 for three today with the single. Flew out his last time up. Pass ball up, hard grounder between 1st and 2nd as his pass, both diving infielders, that's a base hit. Brown now 2-4 for four as he has a leadoff single. That'll bring up Reliable, who's 0-3 for three with 3. Well, 2 flyouts to center and a line out to center. Looking to find a way to get on base. Curveball up and in is a strike. Go and one. Fastball is inside up and in. One and a one. Fastball up and in is sky to left center field. And Reliable is going to be 0 for 4 as that's his third fly out. Bags makes the catch this time. One down. Now to bring up McFreddy. Two for three. Triple, a single, and an RBI today. That'll do it for LaJoy. Is coming out of the bullpen after seven and the third innings is Israel Success, the left-hander. Left-handed specialist will be on the mound for the Sawteeth. He's currently locked in, I believe. 
Uh, success, no record on the year. He has a 0 ERA and an 060 whip. In five appearances, he's given up no runs, thrown 10 innings, given up three hits and three walks. He's also hit a batter. Eight strikeouts recorded, and he has a batting average against of 091. Lefty v. Lefty here, a lefty v. Righty here, as both players are locked in. LaJoy goes seven and a third innings. He gives up uh, 10 hits, no walks, uh, the seven runs, and he uh, gives up the big three homers in the game, which are his Achilles heel. Fastball away is a strike, 0 and 1. Curveball down and in, misses, bounces, 1 and 1. Success, one of the rarities in the league, a relief pitcher that's not a closer who only has two pitches. One fastball and one breaking ball. So not a lot of choices to guess from, but you got to guess the location and the type. 2-1 the count. Fastball inside, McFreddy chops it past third into short. Fordo takes it to first, that's going to be a fielder's choice ground out. Two down. That's going to bring up Jennings, who had a single his last time up. He's also had a two-run homer. He's two for three. Specialist active here for success. So that fastball's outside. Ball one. Fastball away. Swung late. One and one. Fastball down and in. Jennings skies it to right field. He got under it, though. Compton in. Makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Freebitters uh, fail to score as we head to the eighth. It's still seven to two. A fourth, though. Bags and slam do up. Here's that fourth though, one for two today with the single. Muddy Water back to locked in Mojo after the last inning. Curveball down and away in the dirt. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Swung through it late. One and one. Change up and away. Fouled off. One and two. Fourth ball down and away in the dirt. It bounces. Two and two. Slider up and in. Chases it high, lines it up the middle. Reliable dives, you can't get there, and that's base hit to lead off the inning. Fordo reaches, so he'll lead off the inning with a single. Next up is Bags, is 0 for 3. That's going to do it for Muddy Waters. He's no longer locked in. He goes 7 plus innings, giving up 8 hits, uh, no walks, and he, uh, 7 hits, I'm sorry. 7 hits, no walks, and he strikes out 3 batters. In line for the win, giving up only the 2 earned runs, 1 on a homer, and 1 on a single. Coming out of the bullpen is going to be right-hander rookie Rod Baring making his second appearance of the year. Mop-up man has had one appearance on the year. Uh, he has no record. Gave up no runs in that appearance, totaling one inning. He gave up a hit and a walk. Batting average against 250 on the year for Baring. There's the slider up and into bags. Is fouled back, 0-1. Change up and in. Inside, one and one. Fastball up and away. Called a strike, one and two. Ball down and away. Line down the right field line, but Bags is early on it as it's foul. Still one and two. Right down and in. Chop foul by Bags. Still one and two. Fastball up and in. Blooped into right center field. That is going to be a base hit. Bags will reach. Runners will be at first and second here with none down. That's going to bring up Jackie Slam, who had a solo home run last time up. She's one for three today. It's also flown out and hit into a fielder's choice. First pitch is a change up down and away. Outside. Ball one. Slider down and in. Chopped in front of the plate, but just foul. One and one. Double down and away. In the dirt, bouncing off Freeman's glove, but both runners hold. Two on the count. Fastball down and in. Driven deep by Slam. Center field. She got all of it. That is her second homer of the game, and that makes it a 7-5 game. Sawteeth right back in it. First run will be charged to Muddy Water. The other two go to Bearing. Fifth homer of the year for Slam as uh, that's her second of the game. She's driven in four of the five runs, and they'll bring up Strauss. One for three with a single as Bearing is now tense. First pitch and curveball down and in is in the dirt. 1-0. Fastball up and in is high. 1, 2-0. Down and in. Driven deep by Strauss. That is long gone. Into the third. Off the third deck. Third of the year for Strauss. Back-to-back -back homers for the Sawtooth. Make it a one-run game. It is now 7-6. He's a painter who's one for three today with a single. His bearing is yet to get an out, and he is rattled now. Fastball down and away. Check swing strike. Going one. 
Curve ball down and in. Swung through at 0 and 2. Change it down and away. Outside, 1 and 2. Slider up. Chased it high, strike three. First career punch out for Rod Baring. That's a good way to bounce back after back to back jacks. That'll bring up Sturdy Woodman, who's one for three today with a single. Bearing back to tense mojo now. Pitch fastball down in the way is low, ball one. Curve ball at the knees, low in the dirt, two and oh. Slider up and in, check swing strike, two and one. Fastball down and in, hard ground to the third. Burnett dives, you can't get there, it's in the left field. That'll bring the tying run to first and the go-ahead run to the plate for the saw teeth. As it's Michaela Compton who's 0 for 3. Bearing rattled once again. First pitch curveball down and in. In the dirt, 1 and 0. Fastball at the knees. Grounded hard at the middle, another base hit. Winning go-ahead run now at first base for the saw teeth. With it's first and second with one down. That's going to bring up base, 1 for 3 with an RBI single. Slider down and away in the dirt, 1 and 0. Fastball middle in, both runners go. It's a hit and run in the gap, and that's in the gap to right center. That's going to score the tying run, and the go-ahead run's coming to third. He's coming around. It's Woodman. Here's the relay from McFreddy. It is late, and the Freebooters blow a five-run lead. Sawteeth lead 8-7, to seven, and here's handshake over for three as Baring is done here, getting only one out, giving up six. Five runs, and he's responsible for the runner on base at second. Coming out of the bullpen will be long reliever, Violent Combs, the other rookie in our bullpen. Combs on the air has made two appearances. She is 1-0 and oh with a 0 ERA and a 1 whip. In her other appearance, she got the save. She has thrown four innings, giving up four hits, striking out two batters. Batting average against a solid 286 on the year. She's going to look to get out of this mess that Baring has made. There's his fastball middle in to uh, handshake. Wrong batter for that, but it is a called strike because he was surprised by it. Change it down in the way. Chased it low, 0-2. Whiffer activates for handshake here. Slider up and away. Outside, 1-2. and two. Also a little bit high on that pitch. Go about down and away. Chopper to third. Burnett looks to run her back. Bare hands and fires to first. Two down. That'll bring up the fourth, though. Two for three. Single his last time up. He's also scored a run on the homer by slam. Fastball up and in on the first pitch. Popped up. Shallow center. Salmon back for it on the grass. He calls for it. And he makes the catch to finally end the inning. But the Sawtees score six times. Five of them off the rookie Rod Bearing as he blows the lead. And the game as the Sawtees have retaken the lead. Proving once again why they are our nemesis. Bottom half of the eighth coming up. Sam and Correa and Freeman do up against Success, who is now the pitcher of record. There's Salmon, one for three, two-run homer last time up. He does, however, have specialists working against him. And Success is still locked in. Curve ball up and away is high. Ball one. Fastball up and in, lined at the middle. Diving at Florida to cut it off. He fires the first. Just late infield single for Salmon, who hustled down the line. Salmon now two for four as that brings the go-ahead run to the plate and rookie Dash Correa flew out to the wall last time up. He's one for three with a single. Fastball away from success. Ball one. Fastball at the knees. Swung through it late. One on one. Fastball up and in. One hopper to short. A four to the second one. Base to first. Double play. Base is empty. Two down now for Freeman who's 0 for three. Parker looking to Extend the inning here. Takes fastball low, ball one. Chase the fastball high, one and one. Curveball down and in is a strike, one and two. Chased it in the dirt on the fastball, strike three, swing in first, punch up for success. That ends the inning as we fail to score to the ninth. It is eight to seven. Saw teeth in control as they have the top of the lineup up again. Here's Johnny Bags. He's one for four today with the single. Sorry about that. I accidentally took a screenshot. I forgot my controller has a screenshot button. So I had to delete that real quick. First pitch fastball up and away to Bags. It's fouled off. 0 and 1. Slider up and in. Swung through at 0 and 2 as he chased it inside. Curveball down and away. 
lined up the first base line. McFready there easily taps the bag. One down. Now to bring up Jackie Slam, who's homered twice today. She has driven in four of the eight Salteeth runs as she started the rally in the eighth inning. That effectively tipped the game on its head. First pitch fastball down and away. Line to short. Right at reliable, though. Two down. And that's going to bring up Harmony Strauss, who had the solo home run last time up, as that was back-to-back -back jacks with Strout with um slam. Strauss two for four is that first pitch curveball's in the dirt. Ball one. Fastball up and in. Check swing strike. One on one. Change up and in. Rip foul. One and two. Ladder down and in. Just chased it in the dirt. Strike three swing and punch out for Combs, and that's a one, two, three inning. Bottom nine, we're down one. Burnett, Fiducci, and Brown do up against Success, who's going for the win. Here's Colton Burnett, two-run homer for the third-year player last time up. One for three today. Not last time up, he flew out last time up. Cripple outside, ball one. Fastball up and in, swung late, one and one. Fastball down, lined one hopper to short. Affordo makes the easy play, one down. Next up is Fiducci, one for three today with the single. Specialist working against her as well. Popped out last time up as that fastball's up and in for a strike. Going one. Fastball down and in. Bloop into left field. Over the diving of Fordo. That is a base hit for Fiducci as she's two for four. Tying run at first base for the Freebooters with one down. And here's Bad Hot Brown. Two for four day for the DH as he has two singles. Coming out of the bullpen is the closer Alika James looking for the save. James, I believe, in his rookie year. Uh, closer is no record. He has a zero ERA and a zero whip. In his one appearance, he threw two-thirds of an inning, striking out a batter. Batting average against currently is a zero. So not a lot of work here on James in the season. So we'll see how old he is real quick. He is 23. He is a rookie, so I'm intrigued to see how he does. He is a closer for a reason, though. He's going to face Brown. Brown has two hits today. Do I pinch hit for him with Rodriguez, or do we just let the OG hit? I say we let the OG hit, see what he does. Fastball in the dirt, ball one. James, one of the rare three-pitch closers. Fastball slider, curveball for the rookie. Fastball up and away is high, 2-0 to Brown. Slider middle of the plate, ripped hard and foul, 2-1. A little bit early on that one was Brown. Fastball up and in, grounded up the middle. Brent Fordo dives and cuts it off, he has to go to Furt. Fiducci into scoring position for Reliable, who's 0-4. Powers right-hander and low pitch active for him. Should I let him bat? Probably not, but you know what? Let's take the risk. Why not? Powers right-hander now active. Is that sliders in the dirt? 0-1. Pass ball up and he's grounded into right center field. That is a base hit. Fiducci's going to score from second. RBI single for Reliables. He ties the game at eight. And James blows the save. That's going to bring him McFreddy. Two for four. RBI triple and a single today. Still locked in. Fastball up line to second right at base. That ends the inning. We're going to then a tenth. Hero play by Reliable to extend the game as we head to extras. Painter, Woodman, and Compton do up against Combs. There's Painter, one for four today with a single. First pitch curveball down and away. Is a strike. Going one. Slider down and in. Lined up the line. Foul. 0-2. Fastball up and away. Chased it outside and high. Strike three. Second punch up for Combs. Back to back case for her. One down. And that'll bring up Woodman. Two for four today with two singles as Combs is locked in. First good slider down and in. Inside. One and no. Oh. Fastball up and away. Caught a strike. One and one. Change it down and away. Outside. Two and one. Fastball down and away. Grounded hard at the middle base hit for Woodman. He's now three for five as that's his third single. Go ahead, run at first base for the saw teeth with one down. That'll bring up Compton. One for four with a single. First pitch curveball down and away is outside from Combs. Ball one. Fastball down and in. Caught a strike. One and one. Right up and away. Fools her as she chases it outside. One and two. Change up and in. High. Two and two. Well down and away. Line to short second right at Salmon. Two down. Woodman hangs at first. Now to bring up base. Just two for four. Double single and three RBIs today. Is pinch running for Woodman at first base. Is Junior Young Jr. the uh, backup first baseman. 
A lot of speed over there at first, as they're probably going to look to steal here or maybe do a hit and run. Base drove in two runs on a hit and run last time up. So he doubled in two. Gave the Sawtooth an 8-2-7 eight eight to, um, lead there at the time. They got the first, and they knew the pinch runner was going. They've got him in a rundown. McFreddy will tag him in between the bases, and that will end the inning. Combs another zero on the board. Bottom eight, 10, we look to win it. Jennings, Salmon, and Correa do up against James. Here's Nico Jennings. He's two for four. He's hit a two-run homer and single today. Flew out to right field last time up. Takes a fastball from James High. Ball one. Slider low, 2-0. Oh. Fastball, but in line in the left center field. That's in the gap, and that's going to look to get by Slam. It won't. That will hold Jennings to just a single. Good speed there by Slam to cut it off. Next up is Salmon. Infield single last time up. He's also hit a two-run homer. He's two for four today. Curveball down in the way is outside in the dirt. Ball one. Fastball, but in first strike. One and one. Fastball up, Salmon skies at the left center field. No one's playing there, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Throw comes to second as Jennings gets the third. Runners at the corners, none down as Salmon's locked in. He's three for five. Correa with the RBI chance to win the game. He's one for four with a single. Hit into a double play last time up. Fly ball to the outfield, wins it. Let's see if we can get it done. Right down the middle on the heater, 0-1. Fastball's inside from James, 1-1. Slider down in the way. Correa fouls it off to down the left field line. Out of reach. One and two as Whiffer activates. Fastball up. Hard grounder to short. Affordo dives and knocks it down. Jennings is going to come in and score regardless. It is an infield single, and Correa drives in the winning run as the rookie walks it off in the 10th. Whew. I had hard palpitations there for a minute. I thought the saw teeth were going to screw us once again, but we managed to rally to win. Nice job. Nice walk-up victory, guys, in extra innings. It was a good day up until the eighth inning. Rod Baring showed he's not ready to be in this league, and we need to cut him immediately. Thankfully, Viac Combs came out, and the offense saved his bacon in the ninth and tenth. Box scores for both teams. Everybody in the saw teeth lineup got a hit today except Marvin Handshake. Uh, two big homers today for Jackie Slam as she drives in four runs. Harmony Strauss had a solo homer. Woodman had three hits. Base had two hits. One at two RBI double and also an RBI single. And Afordo also had two hits at the bottom of the lineup on our side. Everybody got a hit except Freeman. Uh, two hits for Nettle Fiducci. A two-run homer from Colton Burnett. A RBI winning single in the 10th for Correa. Sam in a three-hit day. He had a two-run homer. Jennings a three-hit day. He had a two-run homer as well. McFreddy, an RBI triple, and Reliable, an RBI single to tie it in the ninth, and two hits for Bad Hop Brown in the leadoff spot. Uh, pitching lines, Larry LaJoy, six in the third innings, ten hits, seven earned runs on three homers. He gets no decision, thankfully, for him. Uh, Israel success, two innings out of the pen, two hits, and earned run, a strikeout. He was in line for the win, but the loss goes to Alika James as the closer blows the lead and pitches only two-thirds of an inning, giving up four hits and an earned run as he falls to 0-1, taking his first career loss. On our side, Robert Muddywater had a solid start, seven innings plus, seven hits, three and runs, three strikeouts, one homer. He should have got the win, but unfortunately, Rod Baring happened in a third of an inning out of the pen, giving up six hits, five earned runs, one strikeout, two homers. He thankfully gets a no decision as Violet Combs, two, two, two and two-thirds of an inning, one hit, two strikeouts. She gets her second career win. She improves to 2-0. and oh. Jackie Slam, the player of the game with the two homers with four RBIs total. Nico Jennings, the runner-up with the 3-for-5 day on a two-run homer, scoring three times. And Cole, the fish man, Salmon, is the third-place finisher, 3-for-5 day as well with a homer, two RBIs, and one run score. Not bad at all as we keep the winning streak alive. Is that, I believe, four wins in a row now? We improved to 8-1 and one on the year. How many wins in a row is that for us? It is four. Okay, I was right. Nice. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so now we're 8-1 and one, and back to a two-game division lead. Let's look around the league. Herbisaur has signed Fiona Clark, their old catcher, as they re release right fielder Eduardo Slubby. Uh, then the B-Wolves signed C.T. Connor, the utility infielder, replacing Pepe Benicio, improving their third second base slot. Uh, Jose Tremendo signs to the wide loads as he replaced Rory Crowds. Reliable gets plus two contact. Nice. 
Elliot Rums, plus five fielding. Sweet. Although he's pitchered. Eh, it's always nice to see. Alright, what do we have in the bullpen to replace Rod Baring, who clearly does not have it? Well, there is Rachel Rhubarb. I've always picked well with her, but she is only a C. And again, so is Rod Baring, so it's the same thing. Tia Mayfair, 3 for 5, 3.5 mil. Bale Bowser, specialist lefty out of the pen. How what do we have? We have a righty, a righty, a lefty, and a righty. So we're cutting Baring here, who's making 2.4 mil. Could go Bowser, get another lefty, but wouldn't be able to use him at all, even if he has specialist. Uh, Jimmy Yago, that's a righty. Same for Ramon. Grump Everbright, he's too old. Honestly, I think we just go for another long reliever, get Rachel Rhubarb. That way, if we are getting blown out, or like something like what happens today happens, Rhubarb can come in and just, you know, slow it down, help us get through it. Or do I go Bowser, who's technically a better player? Yeah, let's get the lefty specialist, why not? He's cheaper, too, so let's just get that extra 400,000 put us up to 9 mil. Welcome on, Bowser. The nine-year vet is coming on to pitch. Former wide load hurler. Take a look at his numbers in a minute. Alrighty. Uh, let's take a look at his numbers, actually. I'm curious to see if he's pitched at all this year. Bowser... Uh, has not pitched this year, so he is a fresh arm. Uh, in his career, he has a 5-1 record, a 3-4-6 ERA, not bad. 1-3-6 whip, solid. Only giving up 48 earned runs, 90 games pitched. He's getting 5 saves in his career. 125 innings, not bad. Pretty solid across the board. 105 strikeouts, not bad. Only one year he didn't reach double digits and punch outs. I love it. Although batting average against has gone way up in recent years. Oh well. Still, he's a little bit better than Baring, and that's what matters. And he's a little bit cheaper. Sorry, Rod, you just weren't ready for this kind of competition. Alright, let's sim up to the next game here, and then we'll look at player developments and set the lineup and call it a day. Alright. Peters crushed the Crocodon, 16-6, as the last place team falls to 1-8. Uh, Platypi win 5-4, and in the last game before the Sim, Blowfish win 3-1 over the Moose, as the Moose fall to 2-7, two, two games away from being eliminated from the playoffs. Two losses away, I should say. Alright, next time up, it is the last non-divisional opponent of the season in the Sirloins, who are 5-3, we enter at 8-1. Sirloins, I believe, are in second place in their division, if I remember correctly. Yes, they are two, one game behind the Blowfish who sit at 7-3, and three, so they are looking to catch up. With a win, they would be a half game behind at 6-3. We have a two-game lead over the Wild Pigs who do not play in the simulation. Neither do the Hawk Warners or the Herbosaurs as the Moose lose. I believe the Moose lost to the Blowfish, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's look at the player development options here. Alright, so this one for Rums, still a solid one. I do like it. This one for Ho is a good one he needs. This one for Cray is a nice one as well. Love it. Don't like this one for Rodriguez. Don't like this one for Freeman. I'm going to ignore both of these. Jennings doesn't need extra power. He, we can let that expire. All right, so now the question is, do we have enough to get all three of these? Let's do math. It's going to be 900,000. 9 plus 2 is 11. Plus 1 is 12. Carry the 1. Uh, so that is 4, 8... 14, carry the 1 again. That is uh, 2, 8, 13, carry the 1. That is 2 million. So it's 2 million, 342,900. We have enough to get all three of these. Let's do it. Let's do Rums' is first. Plus 4 junk, not bad. He's up to 70 now. Does not get K-Man though. That would have been a solid trade to have. Uh, then we're going to do Hose next. Yeah, we have enough for all three. He's going to get the two power. Not bad. Up to 69. <laughs> nice. Contact also up 1 to 75. And then for Correa. That's the plus two contact, which is solid. He's up to 69 as well. <laughs> nice. And plus one fielding up to 47. Not bad. 
So three improvements for three solid core players. Set the lineup here and call it a day. Alrighty, Colton Burnett will lead off at third base next time out, followed by the catcher, Efrit Ho, as he's in back in for Freeman. Uh, Harsh McFreddy is still in the three slot. He's locked in still at first base. Jennings in the center, cleanup man, is locked in as well. Kenzie Rodriguez, rookie, is DHing in the five hole next time out as she's back in the lineup for Brown. Cole the Fishman Salmon at second base will bat sixth. Martin Pole being back in the lineup in left field for Fiducci, he'll bat seventh. Reliable still tenth will bat eighth at shortstop, and batting ninth is the rookie Dash Correa in right field. Honestly, Correa's a better hitter. Reliable's not hitting. I'm going to move Correa up so his speed is not held up by Reliable. All right, and here's a preview of the pitching matchup. For the Sirloins, it is their ace, Perd Lovelorn. He'll be on the hill, 1-1 one one with an 8 ERA and a 2 whip, the former Grappler's ace. And for us, it is our 2-pitcher, Hedwig Lafayette, who is 2-0 oh with an 0 5 6 ERA and an 0 6 3 whip, arguably our best performing start of the season. And that'll do it for this episode, guys. Uh, it was a lot closer than it should have been. We blew a 5-run lead in the 8th inning, managed to rally in the ninth to tie it, and then win in extra innings in the 10th, thanks to some great late offense. And at the end of everything, we decided to release rookie Rod Baring. He just wasn't ready for the competition of the league, as he did blow that 5-run lead. Uh, we signed the veteran Bale Bowser the, with the specialist to try and even out the lefty versus righty matchups in the bullpen. Uh, next time out, we will take on the Sirlins in the last non-divisional contest of the season, so hopefully we can uh, win that one as well and extend our winning streak to five games and move literally one or two games away from clinching the division. Hard to believe it's already that time. Until next time, guys, uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for tuning in. If you made it this deep in the video, hopefully you enjoyed it. I try to make it as entertaining as possible. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is The Nasty One, signing off.